to another video. I thought I would put up a very quick video this morning on a problem that I was having. And this is a software uh, issue, so if you're not watching this video for software related, then you can click off of it. Uh, this is just my software tutorial for the day. Uh, this is related to the Seagate uh, backup external drive that I have been using on my uh, MacBook Pro. And it has been very good and very successful. However, when I went to plug it in right now into my MacBook Air, which is what I'm using right now, it uh, would not show up. There was nothing that I could do. I went through various processes, looking at support sites. Uh, they said about um, clicking on Finder and setting your preferences on Finder. I'll uh, show you that. Um, Finder preferences. They said to go ahead and click on general and then make sure your external drive, external disks are checked. I did that to no avail. It, uh, you know, it wouldn't show up. It still wouldn't show up. So I was very frustrated and I finally found the answer to this. You're going to have to look on your uh, Apple uh, laptop, go to about this Mac and make sure that you know what platform you are running. Of course, I'm running Sierra and I'm running version 10.12. Okay, write down the version because that's gonna be important to this. Uh, close that down and then what you're gonna do is um, you are gonna go to the Seagate.com site and I have it up here. It's www.seagate.com forward slash support, forward slash software, forward slash Paragon. You're going to come to this uh, window here, and basically this is what their support drivers are. What you basically need is the right driver to recognize the Seagate external drive on your uh, MacBook, okay, and running your specific platform version. Now, uh, since I have the 10.12 version, I'm going to go on here on Paragon Driver for Mac OS 10.9, and that's the one that uh, will be installed. And I've already installed that, but I'll go ahead and download it for you guys just to see how that goes. And basically, it's just putting it into the same area. I've got the little one here because obviously I've already downloaded it. And then uh, you can open that, show it in your Finder. And that's where that is. Once you click on this, you'll go through an install process. Let's go ahead and click on it to show you guys really quick. And it will ask you, let me move this over here. It will ask you about uh, installing it. You double click on this and you go through uh, all the windows and the agreements and all of that. It's self-explanatory, so I'm not going to go into that. But once you go ahead and install it, what I did was... Um, I did not restart or reboot my uh, my Mac at this point. Uh, you have to go, once it installs it, go to System Preferences, double click on that. The install will place this NTFS for Mac OS X right down here. This is the application that, uh, the driver that will be installed. And then uh, if you click on that, right now it's mounted, it shows green, everything's honky dory. What will happen when you initially put this on, and make sure that your uh, Seagate, by the way, drive is plugged into your, um, to your Mac before you start this into your USB, directly into your USB. I found do not use a hub or an external hub to uh, plug it in. Make sure it's directly connected to the USB that is within your MacBook, okay? This will say uh, mount on it, not unmount, but mount because initially it will not be mounted. So you'll click this button and then it will turn to unmount as it's showing here. Make sure you have both of these checked, access permissions checked and disable last access time checked, okay? And that's all you should need to do. Don't worry about settings or activation, don't go there, just make sure all of this is done. And then uh, you might need to click on this to unlock to make changes, and that's for your administrative rights. If it shows that it's locked and you cannot make changes, click on the unlock button, enter in your administrative password, and then it will allow you to make these changes. And then go ahead and lock it back up.
then go ahead and click close and you should be able to then see immediately your Seagate backup drive right over here. Okay. Um, you might need to reboot. I did not need to reboot at the time, but uh, if you do reboot and you move your, um, your external drive, your Seagate drive anywhere else, it might uh, require you to go ahead and mount it again. So the mounting process is the seems to be the sensitive stickler for uh, the driver between the Seagate and your MacBook and the various platforms. So if you ever get lost and you don't see your Seagate backup drive, uh, go ahead and click on your system preferences again, click on your NTFS uh, application again, and go through the mounting process and you should be good to go. I hope this helps everyone. I was very frustrated going through this. It, it took me hours to figure everything out. There are various um, support sites and YouTubers uh, on YouTube that are giving uh, different ways to uh, work around this, but I just did not have success in any other way except to download the current um, you know, driver from Paragon, from the Seagate area, and uh, install it and then go through this process. Again, I hope this helps. Please give it a thumbs up if you like this video and go ahead and subscribe. I do put up um, software videos every now and then and so it pays to get notified on some of the software tutorials that I do put up. Have a great day and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.